The company is providing services for simulation and we are, we are doing software development for some special applications in engineering like hydraulic fracturing. If we have a simulator which has a sufficient forecast quality, we can then run sensitivity analysis to come up with a better understanding of the process of hydraulic fracturing. And of course, this is then our base to optimize the setup, to, uh, uh, to do then a better job, to have a larger connected volume, to have a better uh, production of gas later on. And the users of our approach are all the uh, companies they uh, are trying to produce unconventional gas out of these shale reservoirs. So it's a huge potential. We are using ANSYS for more than 15 years, so we are very experienced in finite element analysis, doing high performance finite element analysis on this large range. The most powerful thing in ANSYS is a parametric environment for modeling and meshing. That helps a lot to solve the problems. And also the powerful APDL language, because all the things, they are not standardized. Uh, we do develop with APDL. So these two functionalities, the parametric modeling environment, the powerful capabilities in meshing, and the APDL, uh, these features help us to build the solution where we puzzle together our pieces of technology and the ANSYS solver. We did develop some material models for ANSYS because here uh, we may need some more additional material models to model the rock, especially the jointed rock and hydraulic fracturing. So one part of the work we do is developing our own tools which we link to ANSYS like material models or user elements to fill these gaps Apps, they may exist in the ANSYS software to run uh, the hydraulic fracturing job. We are using the ANSYS software to be able to have the performance to do hydraulic fracturing and at the same time we are adding our own components so we are now able to provide services and provide together with ANSYS a software package for a hydraulic fracturing simulator. <music>